Hey everyone, it's Failed Shot back at it with another video, and today we're going to be showcasing the progression on my account. Now, uh, it's not been too long since the previous video, but I wanted to just showcase some core moments and record some of the core moments, moments in my account that I'm actually able to progress, because I haven't been able to play too much due to the stamina constraints, um, but I have purchased a few packs so that we can play, uh, well rather the, the big packs, the dollar pack and the, and the battle pass. So we're going to go ahead and just progress, see how far we can get, hopefully we can get the later stories of uh, chapters of the story and start farming it up there. Let's jump into it. So in story here, I haven't actually progressed too far since the previous video, but as I said, I, it's pretty much right after I recorded the our summoning session, and I've been just stuck on 7-8. Hopefully here, I'm able to use, um, I forgot this guy's name, <laughs> uh, Lang Mion or something like that, but uh, him as well as using Drew here or Helena. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put her in my squad. I think I'm going to avoid it for the time being. I've also done some research into uh, Chalmers Calmers here, which he does insane damage. I just looked at his abilities, went through them. Insane damage. I'm sure he's going to be great for the dungeons, but I'm trying to figure out who I want to slot in as my fifth slot. I think I'm just going to slot in Drew for the time being. We're going to see if we can actually beat this here. I have upgraded a lot of my character's level since then, but I do want to get this five-star set. I believe that's the reward for finish this chapter, which should help us progress quite far uh, into the story after that. I'm going to go ahead and just basic here. I'm going to save this guy's uh, skills for the following turn because he does insane CC. That should help us beat this. I have not tried it since I've gotten this guy, so I think that we should have a good uh, chance of beating this. All right, come on. We cannot have him die. What is his name? Long Mian. Okay, so I wasn't too far off. I think that's what I said. So basic here. Okay. Didn't do too great there. I think we just basic here and save Drew's ultimate as well. Basic. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll have his ultimate up for this wave, which should freeze. Okay, we froze two people and two speed downs. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and just target uh, Leon here with this second skill. Big damage there. Nice. Uh, Long Man's probably dead. That's fine. Let's go ahead and use our ultimate ability here. And we should be able to finish off this stage 7. Very nice. We'll be able to progress quite far after this. We're going to upgrade some of the gear pieces as well. It looks to me that it's actually relatively easy to 6-star people. The only problem is I haven't like been act super actively pushing. I've only been using my daily stamina uh, as far as I can push. I haven't been like going out and, and using my Nexus crystals to push for 6-stars or anything like that. I don't know if there's like a super efficient way to use Nexus Crystals. I'm just saving them at this point. But we ended up getting that five-star set of gear, which is really, really nice. Puts us up to Chapter 8 here. What is the reward for finishing Chapter 8? Uh, a couple of gold records, which is really nice. But I feel like this set's going to make give us a big boon here on uh, Li Ling here. I believe it was a five-star crit set. Is it, Am I wrong? Uh, it's a four-star crit set. Okay. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and drop that on him for sure. Hopefully this is an attack bonus. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. We're going to just upgrade that real quick. Take it to 6 here, or to 9 here, because I believe we're going to be using this for a decent amount. So I'll be back once we finish that off. So I ended up rolling HP, defense, and accuracy. It is what it is. I was hoping for a crit rate. Uh, unfortunately, in this game, you actually roll your new stats before you roll all your stats. So <laughs> for those of people who are complaining about um, Ace's gearing system where it's random, it's kind of awkward because... In this game, you're guaranteed to get two stats that you may not want, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. I personally actually like it in this game. I enjoy seeing all four of my stats uh, before I even try to roll it up, because let's say it's a, a pretty poor piece and you get your first couple of stats and they end up being even worse than you thought they were going to be. Definitely don't want to roll that up further. So I actually really like that in this game. But hey, it's uh, definitely a personal preference for sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you actually prefer this gearing system, uh, gear upgrading system over some of the other games out there. But we did roll into attack there, so it's actually a nice upgrade. I'm going to drop the other uh, crit set over onto uh, Mona here, which she doesn't really have any other uh, pieces. There we go. That should increase our damage quite a bit because she'll have a chance of critting. But I'm going to go ahead and push the campaign and come back to see where we actually end up getting uh, stopped in terms of progression. So I actually got decently far. We're actually on 9-8 here, and I used this squad the whole way through. I figured I'd level up some Starry Mod if I don't need 
some extra characters here. But we're going to drop in Drew here and let's see if we can beat this on manual. This is unlocking our Hades set, which will be really nice. Um, definitely, definitely going to want that. Let's go ahead and ult here. And hopefully our Lung Beyond does not die here because that could cause us a few problems here. Let's go to use our second skill. I don't want to use our ultimate and kill off everyone quite yet. I want to stall out the battle as much as I possibly can. Let's go ahead and ult with uh, Cheng Pu here. And let's go ahead and just basic the guy in the back here. See if we can do some damage. Let's go ahead and basic him again. Hopefully we kill him off. Very nice. We have four turns on the cooldown for um, Lung Beyond here. So... Definitely going to try to get through that. I'm not going to go ahead and just kill off everyone. Hopefully we get a miss. Nice, we do. I do want to get cycling back over to that cooldown. Let's see. Basic here. Basic again here. And another basic. Boom. Okay, perfect. There we go. And now we are here. And we're just going to go ahead and stall it out. Hopefully we can go ahead and get uh, the ultimate back up. I'm trying to get the speed down. But it looks like we got a lot of debuffs out on us. Go ahead and for the ultimate here. Now that we have our skills up and we properly timed it on manual, we shouldn't have a problem here. As long as we're able to get to the like past the fifth stage in the future stages, that's all I care about so we can farm uh, the side stage. There's the ultimate. It looks like we're going to have no problems here, even without, uh, even without having the ultimate up right off the bat with Long Mian. So... That was interesting. What just happened there? He, he had three times there on the same character. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened, but maybe maybe I'm forgetting something about Drew. Alright. Wow, we all got stunned there. Is that from Pandora's box there? I don't know what she does. Why are we getting chain stunned over and over again? I have no idea what just happened there, but we, we got massively stunned. Alright, let's do a second skill there. Chang Pu is out. Let's go ahead and just hopefully kill off Oh my goodness, they're at like 1 HP. What just happened there? I have no idea what happened. Alright, let's retry it. Alright, back through the stage here. I'm gonna have to read that Pandora's Box ability because I feel like that's what was chain stunning us. I honestly have no idea what was going on there. We're gonna basic here because uh, we want to chain our third skill into our second skill. Let's go ahead and just read this real quick. Uh, can we click on our character here? Pandora's Box. Takes effect at the start of the target's second turn. Removes a certain percentage of current HP and inflicts stun for two turns. Okay, so that's where it's coming from. That's where I thought it was coming from. Huh, tough skill. That's actually really rough here. We're going to go to ult, though, with uh, Li Lang here. All right, come on. They're focusing Cheng Pu, which is not the greatest, especially if she dies, which she did not, which is really nice. So now we should be able to heal her up. Let's just go ahead and ult. And we can actually chain, hopefully, off this guy into the other ones. Okay, well, we hit him three times. Let's go ahead and go for the freeze on everyone. Okay, come on. You got this. Okay, we got two freezes. Not bad. Not the greatest, but not bad. So now we're going to start taking a bunch of stuns here, which is really unfortunate. Oh my goodness, it's so tough, actually. What the heck? It's so brutal. Ooh, Leeling survived. That's good. Okay. Ooh, this is getting brutal. Okay, we need to heal up for a Mona here. Okay, we should be good. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to keep retrying this until we can beat it. I know we can. All right, this has to be it. It's actually ended up taking the third try here. Um, it looks like those guys had some death animation that ended up beating us last time. It was very, very close. I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing. Uh, we're on 9-8. We ended up unlocking the Hades set here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that. It's a 5-star Hades set. Attack percent, crit rate. Um, okay, perfect. Crit rate, crit damage. Really, really nice set here. Definitely going to drop that on Li Ling. Move over our 4-star set onto Mona. I think this is going to be a really solid upgrade. It should take us through Chapter 10. Um, and so we're just going to see how far we can push after upgrading the set. So we're upgrading our last piece here uh, on the, I don't even know what slot you call this, the, the circle slot, but um, we actually got some okay rolls. Two pieces rolled pretty poorly. This one just rolled in an attack, which is not bad at all. It's a little strange that you can have attack bonus percentage on the main stat and then attack percentage on the sub stat from what I've seen. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I thought I saw that. It's a little, definitely a little weird. We did roll some nice crit rate on the other pieces. I think we're going to be close to 100% crit rate on our lead link here, which is 
really, really amazing, actually. I am taking them up to 12 here, uh, just because I think that they're really, really solid pieces that I'll be using for quite a while. Let's see, we are at 83% crit rate, and we went over and transferred our gear set that was on uh, Li Ling here over to Mona. And we're going to be running this for a little while. I may as well, uh, well, we're going to wait on upgrading that. I imagine this set's going to be used for quite a while. And uh, if not on our main damage, then on Mona here. So I definitely wanted to upgrade that. We're going to go on and just progress into um, the story just a little bit. Looks like it was daily reset. Um, definitely, definitely. What is this pack? Uh, they're just going to get a couple of summons for us. Or no, wait, this is just Ascension pack. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> get that out of here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and push the campaign. And I'll come back once we go ahead and progress as far as we can. So we actually pushed up to 11-8 here, and we actually came face-to-face -face with Kronos in the campaign stage. So we're going to have to wait off on that one. Probably 5-star uh, Ramona, hopefully 6-star R uh, Leeling tomorrow, and get that done. As well as probably get a 4th member or a 5th member of our team. Hopefully we can go ahead and summon. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do, because I have a few... Uh, summons available coming up with a daily reset. So we're going to jump into that next video. But if you did enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel because I will keep you updated on my progress. We're on day two, uh, realistically. We're going to be pushing tomorrow and hopefully uh, we'll get through into the next stage of campaign. And I'll see you for the next one.